Good morning, everyone. It's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. So thanks so much for joining me today. I have some easy gift card holder ideas that I want to share with you. So I thought I would jump on live and share these fun ideas with you. They're super simple and you can create these little gift card holders simply by modifying a regular size card. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this. Um, so we are going to be using products from the Painted Christmas Suite. So I'm going to be using this stamp set for my greetings and for my sentiments. And then I'm also going to be using one of the other sets um, in this particular suite. It's called Christmas Season. And so it has a variety of different dies in it, some label shaped dies. So that's what I'm using on these particular cards. And then on some of the cards, I just used some of the different leaves and berries and things like that that are in that particular set to decorate these cards. So plus I'm also using, of course, the Painted Christmas DSP. Now you can use whatever products you have on hand. Any supplies will work with these, any colors. Um, so feel free to make these with some supplies that you already have. So good morning, everyone. Good morning. So this is what the gift card holder looks like. So it almost um, kind of resembles a Z Fold card almost, uh, except for instead of turning this flap outward, I turned it inward so that I could create a little spot for a gift card to fit. So it's really easy to do. You can do this with any regular size card. And I'm going to show you uh, four different ways that you can create this gift card holder. So we can do it in portrait or landscape style. And we can also just change the look of it depending on how we cut our eight and a half by 11 inch um, cardstock paper. So I'm going to show you that. So I'm going to move these out of the way. Good morning, everybody. And I'm going to bring in two pieces of cardstock here. So let's start with one. We'll start with this one first. So you can make two gift card holders with one eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock. So it depends on how you cut your cardstock. That's, you know, that's going to depend on the style of card that you get. So for example, this card is cut from a um, four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of cardstock. So this is the bottom part of this card. And then I just scored this top part and folded it over to create this little gift card section. So when you cut your cardstock, your eight and a half by 11, you put it in your paper trimmer this way and you cut it in half at four and a quarter inches. And then you can make two cards from this style. Then the other way is to cut your cardstock in half. So this is your eight and a half by 11. So you would cut your cardstock in half on the 11 inch side and cut it at five and a half inches. So you'll have two pieces. These pieces will mirror each other. And then you score in the middle here at four and a quarters, you know, to create your card base. So it depends on how you cut your card stack. That's going to depend on the style of card that you create. So I hope that makes sense. So we'll start with this one first. So this is the, I'm going to just score, um, burnish these little score lines here, and then I'll tell you about the score lines. So we'll start with this one. This piece is four and a quarter and it's by 11. So basically what I did is just scored it down the middle at five and a half, and that creates just your regular card. That's your regular card base. To create the gift card holder section, all I did was score in one and a half inches. So that created this little flap here, and this flap is gonna go to the inside of the card to create the gift card holder section. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, so let's decorate this one. Just gonna add some stuff to the front here first. And this is what I'm making. 
So this one is going to be a portrait style card. You can do a portrait or you can do it landscape. Either way is fine. But I'm going to do a little portrait style card with this one. So let's add some designer paper. So good morning, everybody. I see you all have hopped on now. <laughs> I always feel like I'm talking to myself, which I actually am until you guys jump on. <laughs> okay, so here is um, the designer paper that I'm using. I'm using the Painted Christmas. So this piece is just gonna go on the front of the card on this lower flap here. And this piece is four by three and three quarter inches. So I'm gonna just add this. And we'll decorate the outside first. I'm gonna actually move this out of the way. All right, and then we're gonna open this up and we'll decorate the inside. So I have, I'm gonna go off screen a little bit, um, but I'll try to keep the sections in screen <laughs> so that you can see them. <laughs> uh, so we'll start up at the top here. So with this particular gift card holder, I have the bottom of it kind of coming down like this. Uh, so that I could create the portrait style. I suppose you could do it this way, but then I didn't like how the gift card holder looked here. Kind of looked upside down. So if I do my gift card holder this way, then I can kind of see, you know, what the gift card says. I don't know. You can do it either way. So on the top section here, I'm just going to add a five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock. And this is where you can add your um, little sentiment for the inside of the card. So we'll add that. Now I'm gonna flip this back over so that you can see. What I'm gonna do up on the top is I'm just gonna add a little one and a half by four inch piece of designer paper up on the top here on this white piece so that when the card is closed, you can see what that looks like kind of decorates that top. So we'll add that. And then the bottom part is where the gift card will go. So I just used a circle punch. You can use any punch that you have. It doesn't have to be a circle, but I just wanted to create a little notch here. So this is just a one inch circle punch. So that'll be the little notch for the gift card. And then on the bottom here, I'm gonna just add another piece of designer paper down here, just to kind of decorate this up a little bit. So this is the same size as the piece on the front. So it's four by three and three quarter inches. So I'm gonna put that down first. You can add white cardstock if you want, instead of designer paper. And then I'm gonna take my little gift card holder section and I'm just gonna add some glue on the sides. You don't want it on the bottom. You just want the sides so that you can hold this down. We'll give that a second to dry. And then this is where you'll get the little pouch for you know, inserting your little gift card. So isn't that cool? So it's just a regular size card that I just scored a little section of it to create that little gift card pocket on the inside. So then on the outside, all I did was just take some of those layering label dies and I cut one out of evening evergreen and the other one out of white and stamped my little greeting on here. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. So like I said, it's kind of like a Z fold card almost. And then we'll add this to this top part. So I want to make sure that I only add 
glue to the bottom of this label so that um, the top kind of hangs free. So we'll add that there. And scoot this up a little bit. I think it's, it looks crooked to me, but that's okay. All right, so here's what it looks like. I just tied a little bit of ribbon around it. You can slide this ribbon off, um, or if you don't double knot it, you can just untie it to open it. Or you could just leave it as is if you don't want to add the ribbon. But then you have your little spot here where you can add a little sentiment or write a personalized message and then a place for your gift card. So pretty simple, right? I hope you thought so. So then I'm just going to show you the other style. So this is the portrait style. So then I created one in landscape style. So what you'll notice is that it's the exact same same thing I just showed you, exact same thing. I just changed out the designer paper. And instead of decorating the front in this direction, I decorated the front in this direction so that when you open this up, you can slide your little gift card on the inside there. So you have a portrait and landscape style, depending on how you want to decorate it. Um, but the measurements for creating the base of the card are exactly the same. All right, so that is the first set of cards that I want to show you. Oops, let's get this out of the way here. I got too many things on the table. And then this ne next set is done with this piece of uh, cardstock. So this is your five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of cardstock. So I scored it in the middle here. So if I were just creating a regular card without a gift card holder section, this would just be my regular card base. But then what I did with this is I scored it at five and a half and then I also scored it at one and a half off this edge here to create this little gift card section. So it's the same concept as the one I just showed you. It's just that I cut my eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock piece just differently. That's all. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. And I'm gonna grab my other pieces here. Okay, so for the front, this front piece is two and a half by five and a quarter inches. So that's what I'm gonna put on this top piece up here. I'll turn it here. So I'm just gonna add that right away. And then we'll decorate the inside. Okay. And then we can decorate the inside so we can add, it's the same thing. So we're just gonna add a five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock. And then I'm just gonna add my two and a half by five and a quarter inch piece. And you don't have to add this extra piece. Um, you can just leave this blank if you want. But I'll show you what the other one looks like because I left it blank on one of them. But I kind of like this little added touch on the inside. And then this is our gift card holder section. So we'll just put that little notch in there. And we'll adhere this down. Again, you're just gonna adhere the sides. And then up here, because when I want when I close my card, I also want to have just a little bit of designer paper up at the top here. 
So I'm just adding a one and a half by five and a quarter inch piece. We'll add that up there. Scoot this over a little bit. Okay. So you can decorate it in this direction or you can decorate it in this direction um, either way for the landscape style. So it just depends on how you want people to see this gift card. So if you want them to open it this direction to see the gift card, or if you do it this direction, you'd have to just turn your gift card <laughs> so that it's not upside down. <laughs> so I'm just gonna decorate it in this direction just for something different. So I'm going to add, I'm just going to put a couple dimensionals on here real quick. So I cut the same label shapes using the dies from the set. Same sentiment, same greeting. And this is what's going to go on my card front here. So I'm going to add that. I did add it on the right side. And we'll add our little greeting. And there we go. So now when you open it, the gift card's at the top. So that's the only difference. And then you can put your little greeting on the inside um, or a personalized message, whatever you wanted to do. But like I said, I could have decorated it. I could have just turned my greeting the other direction and then my gift card would have been on the bottom. So either way is fine. So that's the landscape style, but you can also decorate it in the portrait style. So this would be the portrait style. And I just use different pattern paper and different um, embellishments, but it's the same concept. It's the exact same thing. So for this one, you can see that I did not put any designer paper over here on this side. I just kind of left it blank. And here I added some designer paper before I, um, you know, glued down the gift card holder section. So that's that. So there's portrait and landscape style. And I just decided to add some ribbon across the top here. This ribbon just slides off. Um, but I added that on the top of my gift card holder just to kind of dress it up a little bit more. All right, so those are the card ideas I have for you today. So let me bring them back so you can see them. So um, let's put them together. So these two cards were created with the five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of cardstock. And then these two cards were created with the four and a quarter by 11 inch pieces of cardstock. So you can make two cards from one eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock. So if I thoroughly confused you, no worries. <laughs> I do have a printable tutorial. So um, I did link to that tutorial in the description with this video. So you can grab that tutorial um, just by clicking on the link. And certainly feel free to sign up for my newsletter. You get these printable tutorials every week in your inbox. So please join me for that. Otherwise, um, that's what I have for you today. So one other thing for all of you, in case you didn't know, today is free shipping day. So um, Stampin' Up! is hosting a free shipping day. So if you have some things that you want to get, have some things on your wish list, now is a great time to do it because you get it for free shipping. Plus you can still get the last chance products and um, some of the clearance rack items. So definitely get out there and take a look at um, what they have to offer today. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed these uh, quick and simple little gift card holder ideas. I hope you have a wonderful day and a great rest of your week. And I will share some more fun things with you on Sunday. So take care, everybody.